Peace out, Quartzsite. It's Vegan RV. I'm Kevin. I'm Laura. Awesome. So, yes. guess what? Quartzsite was awesome, but it's time to hit the road to new adventures. Yep. So, for our days of rest, we end up at some LTVA land just outside Yuma yep. called Pilot Knob. Um, 40 bucks, just like all LTVAs, yeah, for 40 two bucks, weeks. two weeks. Mm -hmm. Um, but if you want to stay for free, there's a road right before the LTVA. You can take a right, head on down. I don't know how far it is, but it's free camping down there. Mm -hmm. We decided to pay the 40 bucks because, I mean, 40 bucks is cheap for a couple yeah. days. Even, I mean, we were only there for like four days. Yeah. So it's totally worth it. Yep. Um, yeah. And we did a lot of errands because we're going somewhere. We're going somewhere. It's true. Um, so, we what did you went somewhere? I didn't go somewhere. Oh, I, yeah. Somebody was working. Somebody was working, and I went with Faye and Tom to, I think it was called a heritage festival, but really it was a date festival. And, um, I mean, it was just a little street fair. It was kind of cute. But the best part of it was the giant 11 pound box of dates for $20. $20. Yeah. Oh, organic dates. So good. Say what? Boom. Still eating them. Still eating They're them. They're delicious. Yeah. And we split the box. We're not eating 11 pounds of dates. We split it with Bay and Tom. <laughs> uh, with dates, you can make vegan banana bread. Yes. You can put them in your oatmeal in the morning. Yep. Very morning. <laughs> <laughs> and you can make smoothies smoothies smoothie. you can just eat them yep all kinds of uses you know how they're really good is you pull out the seed and then you fill that cavity with almond butter wait why haven't you apprised me of this you gotta figure this shit out for yourself <laughs> jacked up learning things as we're doing the videos yep anyway i know what i'm doing when i get back to the rv <laughs> Uh, so, all right, so after far, that. As far as running errands, I was going to say the terrible thing. Oh, my God. The, this is absolutely ridiculous. Yes. UPS store. So the two and a half years that we've been on the road, we have stuff shipped to the UPS store. And sometimes. I know it can get expensive. Yeah. It's $5 a package yeah. normally. Yeah. But sometimes if you're going to, if you know you're only going to be somewhere for a certain period of time, you don't want to deal with the post office, yeah, all that stuff. Office. So you use the UPS store. Yeah. They wanted $15 a package. And apparently that was every UPS store in Yuma. So Every. There's two of them. Yes. Both of them oh, charge $15 yeah. a package. So if you're in Yuma, don't get your junk shipped there. Yeah. Or use Walmart or somebody yeah. else because that was stupid. Yeah. That was ridiculous. Yep. They need. They do not have an Amazon locker. No. Um, At least as of found. when we were there. Yep. So. Um, it was that or dealing with the post office, and we just didn't have time. I didn't have time to deal with it. Like yep. I just had to go ship it, whatever it is. Yeah. Uh, they'll take it. Do know that you do need to call the UPS stores beforehand when you get stuff shipped there. Yeah, because they're not. They're um, franchised, right? Well, they're franchised, but they're also not legally allowed to accept post office packages on your behalf if they don't know that it's supposed to come to them. So anyway, good to know. whatever it is what it is. Yep. All good. We ate some pretty banging sandwiches over at JL's? J JT Brothers. JT Brothers. Yeah. What? They have a few vegan sandwiches. Yep. You had the cauliflower mm -hmm. and you had the patty melt. I had the patty melt. Mm -hmm. It was their own veggie burger, chow cheese, uh, the spicy veganaise, uh, some other stuff. Oh, grilled onions. Mm -hmm. It was on point. Yeah, so they were good. both really good sandwiches. Yep. So, uh, in the veggie burgers, like veggies, uh, type burnt, like Not it's got, type, yeah, it's like type. got the corn and stuff, like pieces of vegetables that you can see in it. Now, it's not all that. It does have like some like kind of TVP or seitan in it, but awesome. it was delicious. So, well, we'll let see all that. Yeah.
Sarah. Hi, sunset. Hi, Laura. <laughs> Voice of the sunset. Played by Kevin. No. <laughs> Gotta get a good sunrise. I'm with Faye and Tom and we have stumbled upon a date festival. So far we've seen people with boxes of dates and date bread and guns and tie-dye. This is a, their cauliflower steak sandwich. It's pretty good. And patty melt. Yeah. Delicious. So now. I'm hungry again. <laughs> Time to hit the road. Yep. Where are we going, baby? We are headed towards Baja, Mexico. <sighs> That's what you see in the background. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking awesome down here. Yep. Don't let the media lie to you. Yep. It's amazing. So to prep to get here, we're in the uh, Cabo or um, the Baja Peninsula. Yep. So we're on the Cabo side, right? Um, Cabo, La Paz, um, San Felipe area. Um, so to get here, uh, as a U.S. citizen, um, if you're going to stay over... I think it's a couple days. Is it? Yeah, that you have to get what's called an FMM, um, and that's just basically like a little tour visa, tourist yeah. visa. It's not actually right. a visa, but right. it's a permit. It's a tourist card permit, yeah, yeah type yeah. thing. And so it it's gives called you FMM. Six months. Yeah, up to six months. Yeah. Uh, you can get an extended one uh, that's good for a year, but we knew we're not yeah. going to be here that long. And this thing cost us what about thirty five dollars? Thirty five, forty bucks U.S. Yeah. Uh, you pay in pesos, mm -hmm. so be prepared. It's cash only, mm -hmm. no credit. And you have to get it on the Mexican side of the border. Right. So, so what we did mm -hmm. uh, as a group with um, the motorhome experiment and RV wandering, we all went across the border. Thankfully, we just walked across. Yeah, we and, just walked uh, across. Algodones. Algodones. Yeah. And. Um, Went in there, applied, very quick. The part that took the longest was us actually going to get the, the cash. Get the cash. <laughs> we didn't have any pesos, <laughs> Right? Um, so once we got that, quick, you fill out the card, they stamp it, you're done. You got six months from the day that you get it, right? So you can get this beforehand if you know that you're not like... What I would say is don't go get it the day of your crossing. Yeah, because... It's a frick... Because... Half the time, there's no place to park your RV on the other side right. of the border. Yeah, if you're just in a car, you know, or whatever. Drive over, park. or, like, sometimes there's a parking lot on one side. Park there, walk across. It's usually right on the other side. Get it, come back over. Walk yeah. back over. Super simple. Our walk back over, not so easy. A two-hour line. Yeah, it was a two-hour yeah. line. It was not fun. Yeah. But, but, you know, 
when you're with the motorhome experiment, Every it's always a good fun. time, right? Uh, <laughs> so got back, we stocked up on some groceries. Was there anything else that we got that we had to do beforehand? Oh, before you cross, you need Mexico insurance. Yes. It is very specific. Mm -hmm. uh, your U.S. carrier does not do the Mexico insurance. Yep. They will provide you a company that they usually deal with to do the Mexico insurance, but it's not like, like they'll have Geico and Geico Mexico, but Geico Mexico is not Geico, right? <laughs> they just forward you to a different company. We went with Baja Bound. You know, you just type in all your stuff and up pops your thing and you just pay for it right there. It's good that day or the day that, the dates that you specify. Um, you can buy per day, you can buy 31 to 60 days and a six month or a year, right? What I'll say is everything up to the six month, like the monthly, the, the daily and the monthly, those are expensive. The six month is where the big break comes in. Even though you're not gonna be down here that long, typically it ends up working out in your favor if you're here for over 30 days. Um, anyway, we went with Baja Bound. You have to know that you have to, when you do the insurance for your RV, you also have to cover the tow vehicle that you have with you. And then, if at any time you drive that tow vehicle separate from being towed, you have to also insure it. So just know that, right? Um, you're, if you're not Canadian, uh, I, none of the insurance companies give you rebates for the time that you're down here, so you're kind of double insured or whatever. Uh, but I do know the ICMC or whatever they're using, ICBC in Canada, they'll give you a rebate for the time that you are in Mexico. So you can recover some money there. But all in, it, like, we took out all, like, we went full bore on everything uh, because I didn't want anything to happen. If I, if it did, I wanted to make sure we were okay. So I think we we're about like eight, eight fifty all in um, for the whole thing. Maybe it was six fifty. Right. One was six fifty, one was eight fifty. I can't remember. <laughs> so, it is what it is. You know, you're gonna be down here, and you need insurance. Yep. So, uh, I think that was all the prep we did. Yeah. Yeah, those two things, and then stocking up on things that you um, now there there are grocery stores here. You're not going to starve. One um, thing you're not going to find if you're vegan. Tofu. <laughs> well, we, I mean, we will find it. There's probably actually some in town here. We have a connection here, so we're going to find out. <laughs> They're right over there. <laughs> but um. Oh, what was her name? Baja. Debbie. Baja Devi, D E V I. We haven't met her yet. <laughs> yep, she runs a, a a local like the whole peninsula of Baja has a vegan Baja uh, Facebook page that uh, I guess it, we'll link below uh, down to it, and it discusses all the different like vegan food that you can get down here. So yep. that's kind of cool. Anyway, meet them later. So um, border crossing. Uh, no, they're probably getting in your vehicle. Right? Um, they are going to enter your vehicle multiple times as While you drive around here. Mexico. Yep. But I will say, we're all the way, I, I will say we're 95% down the peninsula yeah. at this point, and not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem at all. We haven't, you know, all the agents have been um, respectful. Um, I mean, we've heard stories of them, you know, trying to bribe, trying like, to get trying to get... Bribe. Yeah, get a bribe or get some. That hasn't happened to us, so I don't, I don't know that part. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, really simple. Know a little bit of Spanish when you come down here. You know, for Christ's sake, you're you're an American. You're in a place that speaks yeah, Spanish. This is not your country. Just try. <laughs> yeah. to, like, if you make an effort, it's better than not. That goes for right? any, any that country goes for any that you That goes for any international visit. travel. Yes. Yeah. Don't be a dick. Yep. Um, but yeah, I'm, I would say the yeah. whole drive down to San Felipe, I mean, the roads are different here. They're narrower. Um, stop doesn't necessarily mean stop. Uh, a lot of the time it's California rolling stop yeah. style. Uh, but other than that, man, awesome. Yeah, up Lots to, of potholes. Up to San Felipe. Um, like, Which we, is where you're going to see a stop today. Right? Yeah. Yep. When we first crossed the border, um, 
it was a little busy and it was uh, like a four lane road um, and kind of narrow. Um, but then it opened up and it was a two lane road with, and it wasn't terrible. Yeah, not bad. Um, but yeah, you're going to see, you're going to see. Yeah. Also, see. yeah, uh, another tip for Mexico. Mm -hmm. It's not, it's not like the internet in the United States, you know, it's like internet in the U.S. and Zion National Park, right? <laughs> there ain't much of it. Yeah. Um, also, all of your cell phone plans work differently, so double check all those before oh, you come yes. down here. Yep. Um, yeah, you might have to buy an add-on plan. Um, and it data. may not give you that much data. Yeah. Right? You got to get real specific, like my Verizon. It says unlimited LTE in Mexico, but you look at the fine print, it's a half a gig per day, then everything after that is 2G speeds. Yeah. That's not unlimited, everybody. Right. So go through, make sure that you know your plan, look at coverage maps, make sure you're going to be covered if that's what you need. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, some places have Wi-Fi, but it's not like, it's not as prevalent down here. I'd right. say. And even the Wi-Fi down here and the 4G, it's not fast, right? Don't be, like, streaming video is not as easy not down here. It's not guaranteed, right? <laughs> yeah. So just know that when you come down here. Yep. But Look that's what this. I'm talking about. Oceanfront. I see the kite surfer in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Sneak peek. Oh, oh. All right, well, yep. let's show them the drive down there and then we'll talk about San Felipe. Cool, see you right. in a bit. Yes. driving our house around Mexico now.
then here's us trying to get in here. Oh my god. Then he backed up into the boat. Yeah. And when they get on the sand, they go like the sand. Where do you see them? Well, yeah, because once you, once you stop, then this happens. So it's sunrise at our campground and fishermen are going out. Back again. Oh, course. So this is our campground. Here we are, all in a row. That's the Gulf of California. So, these are the restrooms. Yep, that's a toilet. No paper, bring your own. Here's the shower. Oh, this isn't bad. You got, well, the bench is about a foot off the ground, so that's not helpful. Some hooks. Oh, there's a shower head. Oh, I guess the water just runs off into this trough. Shots every time. Let's see it. Let's see it. Yeah. My turn. Counters reset. I think so. No, two years. Two years already? Yeah, that's when we Town first set flies. up. Oh, yes, yeah, so we'll be wearing this out of the woods last week. It's 2016. Oh, it was 2017.
it too easy. Yeah. That's how you do it. Come on, there's a lot of birds on the beach. All these pelicans. What's up? We're back. Yeah. And how about where we landed? It's pretty rad, right? It's so crazy. It's it's different life down here. Yeah, it's awesome. Uh, and yeah, I mean, it's a different life. It's to, like the way of life down here is totally different. Yeah, and it's I love Things it. Things move slower. And there's not as much, like, I don't know. This is how it is. Like, there's yeah. people bending the rules everywhere, mm -hmm. right? Um, we're oceanfront. It's beautiful. Like there's a, like right outside where we're staying, I don't know if you'll see the actual building in the water, but it's a, for the vaquitas, the, it's a dolphin that's becoming endangered in the area. So they have like a little facility where they're trying to figure out what's killing them off. Aww. So anyway, super cool. I, it looks like it's a pretty decent party town to me. That's what it looked like. Yeah, I think a lot of people come down from the States. Um, and go there. Because it's yeah. like, it's a good couple hour drive in. Yeah. You don't feel like you're in the U.S. It's definitely Mexico. Yeah. Uh, it's not Tijuana. It's not Tijuana. So it's not that crazy. Yeah. Lots um, of beaches and, you know, bars along the strip. There are plenty of bars and a lot of Mexican yeah. food. <laughs> yeah. So, um... But we found a chill little campground. Little yeah. being the operative word. Uh, yeah, tiny. <laughs> um, just we barely had to grease fit. up to get in there. <laughs> yeah, um, a lot of the campgrounds are pretty tight down here. They're, uh, you know, it's not your, it's not your Disney campground. It's definitely a lot of <laughs> sand, not so well defined sites. Yeah. Um, yeah, but it's uh, but it's it awesome. beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Sunrises, sunsets. Everything in between. Watching the dudes um, go so, fishing every morning. Yeah, like drag their boats down because they to had the to, water. Yeah, there's but, not. It's not like the U.S. Like there's a dedicated oh, there's a launch ramp. ramp. They're like, no, hey man, there's sand and there's water. <laughs> We're driving into it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's, it's so crazy. cool. Yeah. So cool. Anyway. But uh, yeah, uh, I'm having a blast. Yep. You, I think you guys are gonna love uh, the Mexico videos. Yep. I know I am. Yeah. I'm living it. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. So, another one in the books. Yep. Oh, no. There we go. Uh, hey, man, if you like the video, thumbs up. Mm -hmm. Hit the bell. Give you the notifications. What else should they check out? Uh, if they want to see more up-to-date stuff, then they should follow us on Instagram and Facebook and maybe even Twitter, if that's what you do. Yep. All right. Peace out. Yep. See ya. Next time. Boom.